Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very natural, easy makeup tutorial. So this is for you ladies and gentlemen out there that are rushing around every morning that don't have time to spend hours and hours on their makeup or just like a very natural, glowy, pretty, simple makeup look. So yeah, if you want to see how I achieved this look, then just keep on watching. So to start off, I'm going to be using the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This just adds a little bit of hydration, wakes your skin up a little bit. If you're waking up early, like 5 a.m., girl, that is so early. Mm. And then for my primer today, I'm going to use the Maybelline Blur and Smooth Primer. Looks like this. Start smoothing this onto your face. For foundation today, I'm going to use the Maybelline 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. Yes, this is a full coverage foundation, but we are not going to go in with a lot at all. This is also in the shade 112 Natural Ivory, and this is also very lightweight, so you're not going to feel your face just really cakey throughout the day. So that's literally all the foundation I think we're going to use today. We'll see. So now, bounce this into your skin. So for my concealer today, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is a very blendable, seamless concealer, so that's why I'm recommending this one. So I'm taking Fair, just adding this underneath the eyes just to get rid of any of that darkness. And I'm not nearly taking it as low as I usually do, just to keep it in the areas that just need to be a little corrected. I'm going to add it on some of these pimples over here just a little bit on the nose and just around the nose because that's a little red so I'm just blending this out with that same sponge very smooth very airbrushed everything is really blended and even if you did apply too much product you can go in with like the side that doesn't have any product and just go over it and this will soak up some of the excess product on your skin. So to set it today, I'm going to use the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This is a very lightweight powder, so you're really not going to feel this on your skin. And we're going to use the tiniest amount of powder today. You guys are going to be shocked. So let's first get out these creases set underneath the eyes, just where like those wrinkles are. You know what I mean? Maybe not. Pretty much everything is just set into place. Doesn't feel powdery at all. It doesn't look powdery. It looks very natural. You honestly can't even tell that I have powder on my face right now. So, awesome. So now that we're set, so nothing creases throughout the day, that would literally be the worst. We are going to do the brows. And first I'm just going to wipe off some of that foundation and powder off my brows. Just to make sure that the color of my hairs come through as much as they can. So I'm taking the CoverGirl Brow Pencil in Rich Brown. First I'm gonna spoolie it through my brows to try and shape them. Like you see how like I have sparse areas right here? We're just gonna fill in those areas. You wanna do this with very light strokes. And I'm going to do little tiny strokes to make it look like hairs in the beginning. Brows are complete. Very natural, very easy, a little bit messy, but that's okay. So we're going to go in with some brow gel. This is the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. And set these bad boys into place. And then for bronzer today, I'm going to use the ABH Contour Kit. And I'm going to use just these two shades right here. Mix them together on a bronzing brush. Very lightly. And 
And then I'm going to take this banana shade and this white shade right here, mix them together. Ooh, apply this underneath my eyes. So now onto blush. We're literally just going to throw blush on. I'm going to use the Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Coral. And for highlight, I'm going to use the Milani Strobe Light Highlighter in the shade Day Glow. If I did just apply one thing onto my face, I would just do highlighter. Because it makes everything just look better and just more seamless. This side's got a lot, girl. It's supposed to be natural. So all I'm going to do now is apply mascara and some lips and then... We're done. I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then for my lips, I'm just going to apply a lip balm. Actually, this is a lip sleeping mask, but I just love the way it makes my lips look. They look really juicy, really hydrated, and it stays on a long time throughout the day. So I use it during the day and at night. So, like, look at that shine. And this smells so good. It actually tastes really good. I think it tastes like watermelon. So shiny. I love it. And it's like not sticky at all. I just love this. Mm. So to get rid of any of the powderiness at all on your face, if you have any, at the end you can go back in with the Mario Badescu spray. And then to set the makeup and make sure that it stays all day and it doesn't move at all, I'm going to use the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Okay guys, and this is the completed natural makeup look. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. What better hairstyle with natural makeup look than natural hair? Am I right? Am I right? I definitely wanted to upload this for you guys for a different alternative. If you don't like very full coverage, very heavy makeup, this is something that you can literally wear every single day and feel like a boss ass bitch. So yeah, definitely subscribe to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you really liked this tutorial and how it turned out. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! That was so weird, right? That was so weird. <laughs> I tried to switch it up, and I feel like it just made me feel really awkward. So, bye guys.